Recently, a group of adventurers accepted a mission for an organization known as the Golden Vault. This same group infiltrated and escaped from the maximum security prison of Rebel's End to the Icewind Dale Wastelands. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as adventurers for hire. If you're desperate, no one else can help, and you can find them. Maybe you can hire the BT. Everybody and welcome back to another session of Tales from the Blender Dimension, Planescape's Turn of Fortune's Wheel, featuring the B Team. I am your humble DM Tim, and today we have with us Johnny. Hello. Brim. Hello. Hi. Elira. Hello there. And Elna. Oop, no, it didn't catch a word of that. Oh. So, there you go. Hi. There you go. <laughs> we just saw the hand wave, but no. Um, alrighty. In the previous session, the group managed to successfully escape from the gate town of Curse with the assistance of a little ghost boy <laughs> who's kind of a little ghost man, but acts like a boy. He's kind of weird. He's, he looks... He looks older than he actually is, but he's also a ghost. Um, this individual was heading to the gate town of Excelsior and decided to hitch a lift with our party. On their way to Excelsior, they stopped off at the next gate town, the gate town of Glorium, which is the gate town to Ysgard or Asgard. Um, feasting and having a whale of a time um, with the many inhabitants of the town, Johnny discovered this was where his uh, house, his prize for the uh, winning the uh, jackpot on the Fortune's Wheel in Session 2 was located. Um, having successfully made good with all of the uh, inhabitants of this gate town, they chartered a trip out to the portal, or the gate, uh, which happens to be right in the middle of a giant whirlpool. Um, unfortunately, this whirlpool was uh, being guarded by two large whirlworms, two sea serpents. And one of them ate Johnny. Uh, <laughs> with, with no help from anyone, I swear. With absolutely no help from anyone else causing causing the eventual Def demise. Definitely not. Definitely not someone causing fear. <laughs> <laughs> not looking at anyone in particular. And so, unfor <laughs> I love the zoom in there, Johnny. That's great. Unfortunately, um, when Johnny went to the bottom of the ocean, so did the, uh, well, at least uh, that particular copy of the monastic Mamiya. And so the party was unable to input the data um, to uh, complete their mission here. And so they returned back to Glorium um, and met the latest incarnation of Johnny, which happens to be Johnny Silvertooth, the artificer alchemist who was very briefly featured in the, <laughs> the second session um having been pecked to death and bleeding to death in his room by uh the head of johnny silverbeak and so that is where we find our party meeting up with johnny having returned back to the town and so the game is yours what would you like to do Preferably sleep. Yeah, good rest would uh, 
go astray. Fine, but okay. <laughs> I mean, we can sleep in my house. Ooh. Hmm, my yeah. We didn't get to see your house, did we? Follow me. All right. Uh, Bacole will say, uh, uh, she will go along. I must report uh, this to, uh, to our leader. That, uh, I will see you on the morrow. Rest well. You we'll, we can try again <laughs> when you when you are ready. Yes. Like a plan. <laughs> Very good. All right. And so with that, you can all retire to. Uh, hang on. Retire to Johnny's house, which is this. Oh, you guys are you guys are giants again. I forgot to rescale you. <laughs> Whee. There we go. I was not in mod view then. Uh, he's had a bot trying to advertise in the chat. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, and you all retire to Johnny's place. Um, is there anything you guys would like to do for the evening, or are you just going to take the long rest and we'll skip to the next day? Uh, yeah, probably just skip. Kidoki. Okay. My character's I'll... a little bit too out of sorts. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Ella? I'll re -roll. I, yeah, I'm just gonna rest up. Okay, Brim, same deal? Yeah, All right. same here. Alright, cool. So, Johnny, unfortunately you gotta re-roll your potions because it's another day. <laughs> swiftness and... So, swiftness and I get... Essentially blessing. Bless. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. Oh, boldness. Boldness, yes, but it, it counts as bless. It, yeah. It, 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 does the, to, it does the same thing. As, to every attack. Yeah, it does basically the same thing to play. And saving throw. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all righty. So you guys wake in the morning and you see Johnny standing over his uh, alchemy lab mixing things and then <laughs> big puff of smoke <laughs> goes off and he's like, oh, Eureka. Yeah. <laughs> You have created uh, yes. two experimental things. I I created liquid bless. <laughs> um, and I can, sorry, what were we going to say? And I can walk faster. Good. Very good for a tortle. Um, cool. As the, uh, the morning comes, you hear uh, the sounds once more of, of revelry going on uh, on the outside. Um, yeah, uh, heading out, staying inside. What do you guys do? Elura wants something to eat, so she's going straight for the table again. Straight for the table again? All right, very good. To the table. All right, so you, yeah, right. have a bit of things to eat. So everything, everyone comes on out to the table as. As you approach the table, you see down at the far end a very muscular-looking woman toss a halfling, like a shot put, halfway down the table, almost landing directly at your your feet. The halfling tumbles and rolls, and everyone... <laughs> and people are patting her on, on the back. Um, congratulations. Lyra is immediately going to go introduce herself. <laughs> the muscle mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, I'll move the rest of you guys down the same. Yeah, we'll, we'll follow and, and see if anything happens. <laughs> no worries, this is our... Oh, why is that? Honestly, if you struck out. She's stuck in the, f <laughs> she's stuck in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Now's your chance. There we go, I'll get her out of the... <laughs> Get her out of the floor there. Uh, you approach. As you approach, she actually turns and recognizes you. And as she approaches you, she knows she's actually very tall. She's like a, like eight feet tall, like a a real Valkyrie type warrior, as as you would imagine it. Someone who is the peak of physical fitness, a true warrior uh f warrior woman i guess probably the best way to describe it xena warrior princess but much taller okay let's go let's go Our with that in love. 
And she's she... not even gonna try. He knows he's, she's out of his league. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh. Um, you, uh, as um, you approach her, she approaches you and she goes, ah. Oh! oh, wrong voice. Oh, no, that's too deep. Oh. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, she has a very manly voice. Why not? Why not? Let's just go with that. Her, her balls her, dropped. Her balls dropped. Like, hey, That's from her ovaries. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. He goes, ah, oh, hail adventurers. Very deep voice, of course. Uh, <laughs> that, madam, was a magnificent toss. Ah, oh, thank you so much. One of the uh, the traditions here in town, the uh, the halfling throw. But uh, it's like, oh, hello there. And she sort of looks down at, at Brim. Oh, hi. <laughs> so I understand uh, you encountered some whirlworms while uh, you were uh, out visiting the portal. Yes, we did. And I, I, I killed one. Because mm. I'm so strong. Uh, I can see that. Yeah, well, worms, lost villages, certain per certain peril. Hear that, Glorium! And everyone's like, "Hi!" Mm. It sounds like we're in need of heroes. And around her, the people of Glorium go wild with cheers and shouts for volunteers. Um, and she points uh, dramatically at two other heroes within the crowd, looking at the locals, and then turns to the call, uh, your captain. He goes, of course, we have volunteers. And what about you and your crew, Bacall? Uh, you up to saving someone's world? And looks also looks down at, uh, at you. The adventurers. I mean... Uh, yes, yes, anything for you. Why not? <laughs> Bacall goes, yes, I can't, yes, I, sir, we are always ready to deliver whatever, uh, whatever justice is required. Um... As you turn, the two people that were pointed at... Where are they? Where's, where's the horse? I can't find the horse. I think a horse would be very easy to find in a crowd. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> ah, horse man. It's a lady, thank you. <laughs> horse lady. Uh, this horse... This the tail, Johnny. Yes, this horse person leaps over the table as and is followed quite slowly by um, a very noble-looking warrior in samurai-style guard. Uh, Satya and Tol. Two of our finest warriors. From what I've been... Uh, from what Bacall has told me about your encounter with the Whirlworms, it appears we may be having some trouble with one of the neighboring towns. The town of Grakenok. We have not heard from them in some time. There were meant to be uh, villagers coming in exchange and also for more of the games, but we had not heard from them in uh, quite some time. We fear that the, uh, the Whirlworms may have been attacking the town. But I'm sure our two stalwart adventurers, as well as this fine group, and she slaps Brim on the back. Thank you. <laughs> Delira's looking a slight bit put out. <laughs> Brim just does like a... I just like, fuck you. <laughs> I felt my mommy. <laughs> Newbie Brim just falls. <laughs> uh, we'll be able to uh, head over to uh, to the town and report back. What say you? Yes, always happy to help. Yeah, yeah. Anything for you. Um, without saying anything, um, Satya actually reaches into their uh, uh, backpack and flicks out a carpet on the ground and then just whoosh, sails off. <laughs> this flies oh. flies away with with toll frostmane oh are we not traveling together then uh bacall says the ship stands ready to the ship then all right to the ship to the ship 
Okie dokie. And so, you mount up once more as uh, Tyzra watches you all from the dock and waves you off. <laughs> you once more return to the courier and you set sail. Uh, Bacall has replenished his crew. Interestingly enough, the person that you saw get eaten by one of the whirlworms has returned. Oh. That's convenient. Alrighty. Uh, oh. Elira's just going to be like, Oh, thought you were dead. Yes. Aye, well, death is uh, more of a temporary thing here. When someone dies, uh, if they're close enough to the portal to uh, this guard, you just come back. The fighting never stops here. We fight, we feast, we live, we die. <laughs> and all the other men. Aye! <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Sounds convenient. Mm, can be. Albeit it's painful. And off, time. awfully familiar. <laughs> a, a tad bit, but uh, Okay, shall we head off to this town before the um, other two get there and Well it will be uh it'll be a day's travel, so buckle in. We'll <laughs> guess. I think the uh, the courier will uh, be able to uh, t to outpace that flying carpet. And the uh, the bird goes <laughs> You all mount up and you sail off into the distance. And then we see a little do, 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 <laughs> a little line drawing <laughs> as you guys travel to um, a Grakenok. As you are traveling, uh, the conversation peaks up. One of the, uh, the rowers says, You ever been to Grakenok? Can't say we have. Mm. No, not it's, at all. It's quite the place. Very colorful. Very much like uh, like our town here. All the different towns have sort of different aesthetics, depending on which uh, which pantheon or which belief system you uh, you think should be in this sort of afterlife. If that's <laughs> different cultures, they build the towns of the different areas uh, in their own different ways. Uh, Amazing. We, mm, the whole place is uh, very um, goat and sea serpent style carvings. Very, very unique. Very tasteful. I do like goat. But yes, we are somewhat new to this dimension, so this is all new to, ev to all of us. Mm, mm. Goat is delicious, though. Can't say I've ever had it, but I'll take your word for it. Um, I mean, where we're from. You kind of take the meat as you find it, really. Sounds fair. I wanted to so. pat it, it bit me, I killed it. So, now you're talking, slaps you on the back. <laughs> <laughs> I like this place. <laughs> this this is your place. Yeah, this is this is definitely <laughs> Brim's place, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying here. <laughs> Alrighty. And after about a um, a day's travel or so, um, you're actually keeping pace. After a while, when as you are traveling, you actually see the flying carpet off in the distance with um, uh, the horse person and the the ninja riding. And oh, it's a ninja, sorry, samurai. That's actually what uh, the look is. And you sort of form up into a little formation and. Not much, not many uh, words are spoken, but songs are sung, songs of of battle and glory. Everyone's getting really hyped up. It's a, a really pleasant sort of situation. Everyone, Illyra will will uh, provide the backup. Awesome, loving it. <laughs> give me some, uh, give me a performance check. Let's see how. Uh... Uh, that is a nineteen plus whatever my thing is for performance. Performance. Okay, so like plus a six. Okay, twenty-five. That's that's pretty good. Yes, yeah, so they they are most appreciative of your singing. 
uh, your, your accompaniment. As they all finish their song, um, everyone is going to gain 10 temporary hit points uh, for Ooh. that. Uh, and they are also uh, immune to being frightened for the next 20. How many hit points? Uh, 10 temporary hit points. And you are immune to uh, the frightened effect for the next 24 hours. As the song bolsters the group and makes them even more uh, ready to fight. As you see off in the distance, land begin to appear. And you see, with its colorful homes and varied goat and sea serpent carvings, the village of Grekenok. It would look clo it would look cozy if not if it were not being attacked by a behemoth whirlworm. Over thirty feet long, the giant eel towers over the town's defenses, smashing fishing boats and cottages in its rampage. Well fuck. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. You see the magic carpet and your two companions as they are um, sweeping in and everyone is sort of poised and waiting. You can see on the shore a bunch of warriors attempting to fight off this worm but having very little effect. And at this point, I would like you to... Uh, and at this point, those two magic words are spoken. Roll it, shit! Okay. Oh. okay. As the order to charge is given. Johnny, what do you got? Uh, max 20. Okay, nice work. Alira. Uh, 15. Elna. 8. Eight. Johnny? You already done me. Not Johnny. Sonny. Fuck me. I'm I'm so sorry. <laughs> Brim, I apologize. Eleven. Thank you. I'm so sorry, Brim. Alrighty. Zaverm. Ooh, is doing shit. <laughs> Big worm. Got four. And our two allies will act um, at the start of... They go on initiative 21, as well as what the courier runs. Alrighty. So, at the beginning of the combat, the magic carpet begins to sweep in. And the courier... Makes its way... Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone goes. Off. Everyone falls off the boat. <laughs> Curry's been drinking. <laughs> the seas are choppy. Oh, all right, there's a big worm. <laughs> Get on the boat, Brim. No, nope, Brim's off the boat. Oh no. Brim fell through the wing. Through the wing and off the front. All right. Cool. That'll do. All right. Close enough. Close enough. You guys are currently... I can't even see where you guys are. So from the front of the boat, you're currently uh, 30 feet away. Um, from, from the, the worm. worm? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, Johnny, you're up. Um... I'll pull out my crossbow, mm -hmm. and well, this is just for flavor. Yep. Um, and fire Melf's acid arrow. Oh, okay, nice. I like it. So, so use, yeah, using your crossbow as the spell focus. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Um, because it's an arrow crossbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like yeah, it. it. Works. I like it. I like it. Eight, 18 plus seven. Uh, yeah, that will hit. And that is 4d4. Uh, oh, that's actually a pretty good roll. 8, 11, 
13 poison damage. 13 poison damage. And then at the end of its next turn, it takes two more d4. Nice. Poison damage. Very good. Alrighty. Uh, anything else for Johnny? Uh, let's have a look. You can no. if you you can if you if you wish. Um, you can down one of your potions as a bonus action if you wish. Okay. Because we are doing um, that thing with the healing potions, so you can just. Yeah. Uh, what what were the potions again? Uh, it was the the bless and the speed one. Um, I'll take the bless. Bless. All right. Yeah. So the bless potion. Drink the bless potion. All right. Uh, Alira, you're up. Uh, how far away are we? You're thirty feet away, so you can get to the front of the boat, and everyone will be thirty feet away from the worm at the moment. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna straight go into dissonant whispers at it. Okay, go for it. Let's see. Uh, 17. Definitely passed, so only half. Mm -hmm. uh, half a 16 is 8 damage. 8 damage. Alrighty. Alrighty. Um, back to it then. Right. Uh, Alira, oh. so <laughs> you did your distant whispers, the damage was done. Bonus action. What would you like to do, if anything? Um, I would like to give uh, Bardic Inspiration to Brim. Brim? Right, Brim, you are inspired. Thank you. Um, and it is your turn. Oh, shit. Um. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually even do anything. You should still have all your javelins and stuff. If you didn't have I those... Didn't replenish them you didn't replenish them all right cool so you don't uh well i will say this there are quite a few weapons on the boat so i will say you can you can ha you can grab a javelin if you want to toss a javelin okay i want to toss a javelin <laughs> okay cool and who knows actually um, what actually one thing you could do actually if you're wondering about it you could rage uh -huh. and then if you get the teleport ability you could jump onto its back that's true yeah. plus raging would help Raging anyway. always helps. Always, it always helps to be angry. Okay, I'll throw my javelin first then. Okay. So that's a... Fourteen to hit? Uh, Fourteen will miss, unfortunately. So you, you pick up one of the javelins and, and it just goes sailing past the worm's head. Blunk. Throw it a bit too hard. Yes, sploosh. Love it. Um, okay, I'll get angry then. <laughs> <It's> like, Damn it! <laughs> uh, wild search. Three, four, two. Hey, I did get the teleport one. Hey, very good. <laughs> it's 30 feet though, is that enough? You are 30 feet away from the worm, yep. Yeah. Hey. Maybe I should have done that first. I didn't. Well, you okay, get a, I'm on the worm. All right, so you get a second attack though, so you can just char I it. Axe it? Yeah, because you get two attacks. Oh, okay. So you can bring down the. I thought. Because you threw. I thought that was because of only one weapon. No, 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 no. Okay. Because you know should that. your your attack action should be two weapons. It should be two attacks. If you look at your attack action listing, it should say you get two attacks per attack action. Yeah. Yeah. I just kind of thought it had to be the same weapon. No, no, no. Oh, it no. can be multiple weapons. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, I, I see it. Go. <laughs> hachar. All right, bring down the hachar. I got a 18 plus 9. That will hit. Roll for damage. That is a 16 damage. 16 hachar damage. Nice. All right, bringing the axe down on that bad boy. Um, alrighty then. Uh, that's your action bonus action. Elna! Uh, my screen has frozen again. Can uh -oh. you still hear? Yep, yeah, okay. we can hear you. Well, yeah. let's just go with this. Um, I am going to do third level called lightning on this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice. I like it. <laughs> um, 
I guess just in the center of it okay. doesn't really matter. Hang on, here we go. I gotta. I think I have a thing for this, which is cool. I wish I could. Oh, say it. No, lightning strikes. Here we go. Bitch. Oh. Mm, she gone again. Oh, we lost her. Just as the lightning struck. Mm. <laughs> Fingers crossed it doesn't hit Brim. <laughs> <laughs> Better fucking not. Mm. Nah, that's right. The worm's big enough that you it can she can hit it somewhere where it's hit the hit the ass of it. Yeah, exactly. Huh. Exactly. It happened yet again. Welcome back. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. So, so it's it is a deck save, I believe, for the worm. Yes, that's correct. Uh, it rolled a five <laughs> uh, with mm. a grand addition of three. So it rolled an eight. No. <laughs> a lot more than I th was expecting. Hmm. Uh, so these are oh. D10s? 3D10. Yep, all right, cool. No worries, that's fine. Oh. Uh, that's 10, 19, 27 lightning damage. 27 lightning damage. Right, give me one moment here. <laughs> okay. Let me close down Facebook so I don't get the doo doo. <laughs> um, ruining our beautiful stream audio. Uh, you guys need to stop talking about titties in the chat. <laughs> Johnny, I can't believe you're doing that. <laughs> it wasn't me. Um, all right, sorry. I was just double checking something. All right, so what'd you say? 37. Uh, 27. 27. Oh, no. no. Yeah, tw 27. Sorry, I apologize. 19 plus 8. Yeah, 27. 27. All right, awesome. Uh, All right, cool. All right, so you, as you cast the spell, a massive storm cloud appears directly above, and then lightning... <laughs> strikes down on this creature doing a shit ton of damage. It does not like that at all. Uh, bonus action, if any. Uh, I don't believe... Let me just have a quick... Look, see? Uh, only Flame Blade, which I am nowhere near close enough to do that, right. so... Cool. No worries. I'm all sweet. All right. As all of your attacks are striking this creature, it turns itself. Uh. <laughs> it's like, ha! <laughs> I'm going to eat your faces now. <laughs> <laughs> Brim, oh. could I get a um, acrobatics or athletics check to uh, to stay on the back of this creature as it moves? Let's do athletics. Athletics, good call. That is a 17. 17. You are fine. Grim. Grim. Brim holds on. Okay. Let's get this thing to sit flat. There we go. Beautiful. Brim is holding on perfectly fine. Uh, this creature um, basically lines itself up, its head directly in front of where the boat is, and breathes in and... <gasps> This massive roar of energy comes out of its mouth and hits the boat. I need everyone on board to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. I get a d4 on to the top of that as well. You do? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that 20. 20? Nice. Fifteen. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 
Uh oh, that's a lot of dice. Eleven. Well, okay, so it's twelve d ten damage. <laughs> All right, Johnny, what'd you get? You got fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, uh, Alira, what'd you get? You got twenty something. Uh, so it was the deck save, wasn't it? Deck save, yeah. You got twenty four. Twenty. Twenty four. Yeah, not cool. twenty. Brim, 24. what'd you get? Oh no, Brim doesn't get it. He's not on the boat. <laughs> Brim is safe. <laughs> El Elna, what'd you get? Sixteen. Sixteen. All right. Uh, Elna and um, Alira pass. Johnny, you fail. Oh yay! Yet again. It's not my fault this time. <laughs> All right. Eight. 11, 16, 23, uh, 25, uh, 25, 40, sorry, 25, 33, uh, 38, uh, 38, 53, 55, 55, uh, 62 points of thunder damage, um, 31 if you succeed it. So both Elna oh, and, so Elna and Alira take 31. And Johnny, you take Thank Christ for those ten points. And you, yeah, and you take yeah. the you take the sixty two. How are you all doing? <laughs> I'm on five. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly better. And this thing, and it actually kills all of the crew of the ship. They all just die. It's like, ah, oh, no, I killed the boat, <laughs> <laughs> including the ship. I killed the boat as well. Ah! Hey, that's kind of well. that's kind of appropriate, actually, as everyone sort of explodes. All, all, all I will say is, ow! But isn't the boat like alive? The boat well? does take a shitload of damage, but it is not um, dead. Okay. So yeah, you're, the boat the boat lives. So you're okay there. Alrighty, uh, you see at this point the magic carpet sweeps in. Uh, these guys swinging their attacks, doing um, quite a bit of damage, actually, in the process. The samurai bringing out the sword and slashing while uh, the uh, the horse lady um, brings down spells hitting this creature. Alrighty. Uh, and that is it for the big worm. Um, because it only has the one thing if it does its breath weapon attack. Let's see if it gets this breath weapon attack back. Um, Johnny. Fucking breath weapons. Back to Fucking you. Fucking breath weapons. Yeah. Alrighty. Um. A bonus action healing word myself. Okay. Good call. So that is seven. Mm-hmm. And I'm just gonna say. Fuck you and shoot it. Okay, go for it. Uh, that is a twenty-one. Twenty-one will hit. Roll for damage. Uh, these are d8s. <laughs> uh, that is six piercing damage. Six piercing damage. Nice. Sticks into the side. Pink. All righty. Uh, bonus action. Oh, you've already and, done it. Yeah, it was your healing word. And that's my turn. Okay. Alira. I am going to aim a shatter at its head. Ooh, okay. That's a con save? Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, sure. Uh, uh seven. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is thunder damage, yes? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, I will say... Um, you hit it with the thunder damage and you see it begin to reverberate. So as the as the shockwave hits it, its entire body just goes and sort of shimmers down to the end. You see the water shatter and then it goes 
and there's a shock wave and it just ripples through the water. The boat gets thrown. I would like everyone to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Do I do it? Because I'm on the worm. Uh, yes, please, you are. Okay. Dex save, okay. Eleven? I got a 17. 11, 17, 19, 19. Johnny? 16. 16. 16. So everyone manages, everyone but Alira succeeds. Alira, you just get knocked prone as the boat gets flung. Looks like this creature. So no damage. It does no damage to it. Looks like this thing is immune to thunder damage and in fact actually has a, a way to absorb that kind of damage and refocus it. That is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Good to know. Alrighty. Uh, bonus action. Um, I'm once again going to give inspiration to Brim. Actually, have you used I haven't the inspiration? Used yeah, Brim didn't use the inspiration. All right, Johnny yet. then. Johnny gets inspiration. Okie dokie. Alrighty. Uh, Brim, it is your turn. Um, can I use my teleport at the start? Absolutely. Okay, I want to teleport to the head. Okay, going to the head. Yep. Sorry. It's a lot of effort for you. Wee. That's fine. There you go. Brim, then I want to start hacking at the eyes. Go for it. Hack at the eyes. That is a... 22 to hit. Uh, that will hit. Roll for damage. How do I use inspiration? Inspiration is if you roll like an attack or a save and you don't think you're going to pass, you add the d8 to it. So it's a two hit thing. It's a two hit or save. It doesn't add, da it doesn't add to damage. Okay, no worries. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah. So, like, say, for example, uh -huh. when you're doing that um, dexterity saving throw, if, like, if you rolled, like, a four, a four you could roll the D8 yeah. and try and increase your the number, basically. Ah, uh, I getcha. Yeah. Same thing, like, if you're rolling um, so to I got a, Yeah. I got 14 damage. 14 char damage. Lovely. And second char? Mm-hmm. That is a 17 plus 9 to hit. 17 uh, plus 9. Yes, that will hit. That is a... 18 damage. 18 damage. Nice. Wait, seriously? How do you get 18? Yeah. Like... I got a 12 and I have a plus 6. Holy shit on a stick. All right. That's that's good work. Okay. That's uh, 18, right? Yeah, yeah. No, you are you are correct. Okay, 12 okay. plus 6 is 18. Holy crap. Uh, yeah. da, 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 one, two, two, two. Um, uh, that's your bonus action and your attack. Right, you're all good. Yeah. Uh, Elna, could I actually... Well, one thing you need to do, you actually have to roll for concentration on your call lightning. So the D... So it's a, uh, a constitution saving throw. Uh, the DC is 15 because you took... 30 odd. 31 damage. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thirteen plus uh sorry, a saving throw did you say? Con saving throw, yes. A con saving so Elna uh, sixteen. Sixteen. You're good, yes. You have many you managed to maintain your concentration. Which means you call <laughs> lightning still up so you can just bring it back down if you wanted to. Wait, I will do that. Yeah, so you can move the lightning over and then you I love that <laughs> <laughs> all right okay uh so do you have to do oh, yeah, gonna, yeah the... you, you I'm rolling the save you roll the damage yeah Sweet. uh 17 plus three so it's got 20 on this one so it's taking half damage yes awesome yeah. another Oh, this is terrible. Just one more. One more dice. Someone's got hiccups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I may have got into my alcohol. Oh, awesome. Ooh. Me too. Ah. Yay. <laughs> is it me three? No. <laughs> I'll go get my jelly shots out. <laughs> Uh, the 22, 11. So, 11, 11. 11 lightning damage as the lightning bolt strikes down. Nice. 
All righty. Uh, any bonus actions, if any? Uh, no. Oh, okay. sweet. All right. Cool. Um. Okay. The big worm. Since this flying carpet's buzzing in its face, it's actually going to reel back and Wah! it's going to breathe its attack on these guys here. You see the carpet actually get tossed and these two get splashed into the water and the carpet just sort of falls in, no. into the water. You see them sort of beginning to splash and splash and splash. Um... Let's see if it recharges again. Okay. Um, they do no damage this round because they are spluttering in the water. Uh, Johnny, back to you. Um, I will. You know what? Let's try something different. Okay. I will firebolt it. Oh, okay. Firebolt away. Eighteen plus seven. That will hit. Roll for damage. 2d10. Okay. That is a... Uh, oh, that's a 9. Um, 13 fire damage. 13 fire damage. Nice. And... I'll heal myself up again. Okay. So that's a cantrip and a bonus action. Regular spell. Yep. You can do that. Alira. I am going to put my hood up. Oh, okay. And swim over and climb on the thing. Nice. So you splish into the water. Mm -hmm. Apparently I've got 60 feet of movement with this thing. Mm -hmm. So you... The calculations are wrong, but yes. So you're very easily able to get over to it. Uh, give me an athletics to attempt to climb onto part of it. No. No? All right, so you... You attempt to grab on, but it's it's just far too slippery. You're just not Slimy. unable to, to unable to, to get purchase. Um, but you still have your All action. Right. Or does it take an action to up the hood? It takes an action, so right. my bonus action would be unsettling words. Right. Okay. So you say <laughs> you insult it from the water. It's like, hi you. It's like blah, 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 blah. So it has to okay. it's a It has to take eight from its next uh saving throw. Nice. Okay. It won't like that, but well done. Mm. Yeah, basically, you, basically, you go, "Hey, you, you ugly piece of shit!" And it's like, <laughs> "Oh." <laughs> I f I forgot something. Oh yes, it it's meant to have taken the extra two d four ah, from the yes. acid arrow. Yes, please. Uh, give me five. Give me five. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. Yeah, I, I did too. Well done. Alrighty. Um, that is uh, Alira Brim. Um, let's start hacking again. Hack away. I just rolled a 20. Hey! Bring me that damage. So what, it's a... I always forget when you get critical. So it's the maximum on the dice, and then you just roll the dice once. So it's a D12. Okay. It's a D12 plus 6, you said, was your your damage? Yeah. So it's, it's 18 plus another D12. Plus a 5. So 18 plus 5, so 23. And next attack. I rolled 11. 11, unfortunately. Oh, they, they, so you can oh, add, you can can add your add your inspiration. Exactly. Yes, there we go. Um, D8, you said. D8, that's your inspiration, Alira, I believe. Ah, uh, yes. A six. So it becomes 17. That is a hit. Roll for damage. Did something... And I rolled a 16. 16 damage. Nice. Okie dokie. Um, Elna, you're now up. Sweet. Um, am I st I'm within 30 feet of its head. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Sweet. Well, I'm going to thorn whip its ass. Okay, so it's going to... Double whip. Thank you. Yes, please. Um, uh, so that is 18. That will hit. 
Awesome. And then 21 for the second. Yep, both of those will hit. Roll your damage. And 50 or 12. You and... So that's 4d6 damage total. That is... Oh, shit, yeah. What am I doing? I'm looking at the wrong fucking... Yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, four, four <laughs> dice is the maximum damage. Still. Sweet. Yeah, I was looking at um, poison spray directly ah. above. <laughs> yeah, My bad. All right. Uh, 12, 16, uh, 18 altogether. 18. All right. It's not looking good. You guys are fucking this thing up. <laughs> um, Big Worm is not happy with big dwarf on head so <laughs> so it's going to basically coil around itself and it's going to attempt to uh hit you with its constrict basically it's going to fling its tail around and try and knock okay. you up and tie you up uh so it's going to make an attack i'm sorry attempt to do what to brim it's going to attempt to constrict brim so it's going to it's big tail over you here. said specifically knock you up I meant knock you off, not knock you up. Yes. Thanks, so. Pregnant. Yes. I mean, I mean, it is it is a big tentacle monster. We could go that way, but uh, we hadn't even made that joke yet. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> Out of us. Um, ah, fourteen to hit. Nah. Nah, no dice there. All right, cool. And then it's going to see a tasty tiefling in the water and go num. Mm. Uh, twenty-five to hit. How you doing, <laughs> Lyra? Hmm? 25 to hit. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, that hits. Okay. She needed that drink. <laughs> um, 17, uh, uh, 22. I'm down. Oops. Okay. So you just get num, 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 num. So you, you see the, the worm go down and bite Alira, and Alira just disappears into its mouth. Mm. You're not swallowed. You're just in its mouth being chewed on. Mm -hmm. Um, these two will swim over and they will begin to poke holes. <laughs> um, alrighty. Uh, Johnny, back to you. Um, I guess I see Alira getting yes. chomped on. Yes, so Alira, yes, you, a very familiar sight. You felt it before. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have, and I know how painful it is. I just yell out, Alira, get the fuck up! And healing word. Cast healing word. Yep. That's a... Do, 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 seven healing. There you go. Thank you. You're awake, but look. And, yeah. and then I will shoot it. Go for it. Um, so Lyra wakes up, sees her in the mouth of the way. <laughs> Does a 12 hit? A 12 will not Hang hit, on, unfortunately. Oh, yes, but. So 13? 13 will not hit either. Oh, okay, I'll use my inspiration. Okay. 16. 16 also won't hit. Ah, oh, fuck. But you don't burn the inspiration. <laughs> Because okay. uh, a big, um, Alira's inspiration are specific in that way. Mm -hmm. They only they only burn if you succeed on what you're attempting to do. Okay. Um. Alrighty, it's that, Johnny. That is my turn. Uh, Alira, you're awake in the mouth of a, of a beast. Um. Well, shit. Uh, I am. Probably going to dissonant whispers. Dissonant whispers from the straight inside. up, considering that's probably where, where his brain, brain is. Yes, you, see, you start whisper screaming in your in your head at this at this creature. Uh, Twelve on a wisdom save. That is a fail. Okay, roll for damage. Jesus, oh, oh, that was. So I dropped my can, but it did a flip and landed right side up. Oh, impressive. Are you inspired now? Does that count as a natural 20? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of rolling so dice, I didn't rolling, roll very, didn't roll flipping very dice, well. Flipping dice, flipping cans. Well, just 
Bottle flip. Bottle flipping for, for net 20s. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, 12 damage, but I'm assuming because it has to get away from me that it spits me out. Um, yeah, I'll go with that. That sounds fair. So it's like, ugh, doesn't like when <laughs> it's swallowed. <laughs> it begins to move. Well, uh, Brim, can I get another deck save, please? Yep. There's a splash on the wall that I'll have to clean, but um. Oh, sorry, not not a, yeah, sorry, not a didn't uh, not a dexterity saving throw. Sorry, a um athletics check to hold on while this thing is moving. Oh yeah, I aced it then. I got twenty. Oh yeah, sure, you're then. fine. Yeah, you're good. Also, remember to get close to your mic. You're getting a bit quiet again. Sorry. You're all good. So yeah, so Alira just gets spat out and splashes in the water. Um, and the worm moves closer to the shore. The people on the shore still shooting arrows at it, having very little effect. Um, Brim, you're on the head. Um, I'm going to start hacking again. Go for it. That is a 22 to hit. And that will hit. Roll for damage. And that is 18 damage. 18 damage again. All right. As you bring your axe down after it spits out Alira, you see a massive crack in the in the skull. And as the axe cleaves through the um, the crack, it goes straight in and swings all the way around. And you feel the brain of this creature, and you, you just hear it, and it just writhes up, and then. Boom, splashes into the water, you go into the water, and it just rolls over and floats up to the surface. Hey. And there are cra nice. and there are cheers from the town as all of uh the villagers applaud your mighty victory over the elder whirlworm. Congratulations. Hey. I want to take a tooth. You have yourself a tooth. Absolutely. Well done. I'm going to give it to the big lady. Uh, to the true hand, put on fangs. Oh, wait, ah. it's a foot long. It is a foot yeah, long. It's about, it's about your height. Yes, so yeah, the tooth is about as, as long as you are. Sorry. All right, so as you all manage to to come to shore, um, uh, the people remaining on board the courier, assisting with the rowing, getting yourselves back up there, you manage to retrieve the magic carpet. Uh, Toll and um, Satya will... Uh, Lyra will just swim back to shore. Yep, you can manta. <laughs> You swim like a dolphin. <laughs> back, to, back to shore. I'll do the paddle. Um, Brim, you are able to get on board. No worries. Uh, as you return to the shore, you are gre all greeted as heroes. However, because um, I had to keep track of this, I'm fairly certain that was Brim. This is when the Elder Worm is defeated, um, the people of Grekenrock lord the heroes who saved them. They treat whoever dealt the World Worm the most damage as the true hero. And I'm fairly certain that was you, Brim. You got the most damage, especially with yeah. that, but that fucking critical hit. So <laughs> um, whether this has been one of the characters, uh, Satya or Toll... Uh, this is the true hero. Um, they present one of the. Oh, you've already got the tooth, so it doesn't matter. So <laughs> they were actually going to give you. A, they were going to. So you get. You now get an extra tooth. So you now have two teeth. Hey, I can keep one. <laughs> um. Uh. All right. Awesome. Um. And with that, um. You. Are congratulated by the two additional heroes. They go, ah, oh, well fought, well fought. Yes, yes indeed. I would have, uh, uh, if we hadn't got knocked off, we would have been doing quite well. Maybe just get good. <laughs> Please excuse my companion's rudeness. No, they they, they take that as it's like, ha, ha, ha. 
and hugs and back slaps are given. It is taken. I want a butt pat. It is taken in the manner that it is intended. It's all, all fun and games. There's never any. Uh, there's no insult that can be given that isn't taken in in a good nature, in this place. Mm. Um. And with that, the people of uh, Grecken Rock uh, tend your wounds. Um, they lay on some food for you, and uh, basically you guys can have another long rest if you wish before heading back. <laughs> that would be preferable. Um, you guys were just sleeping, ugh. So there is a... Well, well, excuse I me, Miss Full Damage, I have 7 HP left. Yes. There I'll is, shut the fuck up, don't yes, I? There is a there is a, a a party and celebration is had and uh before long. Why are you so big, Brim? <laughs> there we go. That's, that's better. I'll try to look at why you're so damn tall. <laughs> um the um the village begins to rebuild itself and also, um, after all of uh, after the uh, the next morning, you see um, those that had been um, killed all just come back, um, raising up and uh, re rejoicing. And as, as they say in um, Monty Python, and there was much rejoicing. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Um, you get your rowers back, um, the courier is repaired, and ready to set sail once more. Um, Satir and, uh, Tol will set off on their own at daybreak, uh, leaving you to make your own way back. Um, as you all, uh, meet for the evening, Brim... Um, stumbles out of the room, um, a pair of very uh, tall and muscular ladies at his side. A few a few <laughs> bruises that weren't there before. <laughs> I having... finally got my titties. <laughs> 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 well, well, have a look. They're all they're all warrior ladies. This whole town Ooh. is warrior ladies. So. <laughs> Muscle <Muslim mummies. laughs> so... <laughs> so Brim finally got to have his. <laughs> He finally, he Brim finally, finally got laid. He finally got laid. He was able to to finally win the respect of of people doing what Brim does best. The best reward of all, a tooth and a bit of boning. Ha ha. <laughs> Illyria's just gonna pat him on the head. <laughs> That's the best compliment you give me. Thank you. Come <laughs> on, it wasn't just one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh with that you um if you wish you can return back to glorium or you can head to the portal on the way back uh because is willing to take you whichever way you wish to go i'd say portal yeah oh, that sounds well. like a good idea yeah all righty and so you all board about um aboard the courier um Firm handshakes and, as well as kisses are given uh, to those that are uh, deserving of them. And um, you sail off into the sunset um, to the cheers of all that you managed to save. Um, not before too long, you are able to reach the portal. Um, there are no more worms this time, so uh, you don't have to worry about fighting that fight again. Um, and as you pull into the whirlpool, uh, the Mamiya begins to glow. Information requested. Location, Glorium. Please input data. Best city ever. <laughs> My house is here. There's uh, wormies in the water. Everyone lives and eats and fights and dies and lives again and eats. And is happy. Mm -hmm. Always happy. 
It's like Valhalla. Yeah. It, it's very rustic. A long dinner table. When I say long, I mean long. <laughs> long. And a collective Everyone's always bunch up of for people. a good challenge. Good food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good ass. <laughs> um, nice tits. With, uh, with Brim's final notes, um, input into the <laughs> Mamiya. Information accepted, and it powers back down. Uh, and with that, you pull out of the, the Maelstrom and set sail with even greater speed now, with the additional speed kicked up from... Um, circling this maelstrom, you get um, use that as a slingshot to propel yourselves back to the gate town of Glorium. And when you arrive, you are once more greeted with great cheers as you all arrive at the scene. As you approach, uh, Bacall is with you. One moment. Ow. Muscle Mummy sees you, uh, Tazar. <laughs> she climbs over the table, um, rushes over and sees you, and he goes, How was the fight? I present you this, and I give her a tooth. <laughs> he goes, He goes, Ah! Everyone! The Elder Worm is slain! Everyone's like, Ah! <laughs> Lush, <laughs> like, <laughs> Kiss on a second. <laughs> <laughs> The heroes <laughs> of the day! <laughs> ah, there's great cheers and celebrations, more partying and celebrating. Um, as you present her, with, as you have presented her with the tooth, um, she recognizes that character as the hero of the day, as I said, and you are rewarded with something from her. Um, she reaches onto her belt. Morning, Glorium. <laughs> Morning, Glorium. What? <laughs> Morning glory. <laughs> okay, right. not quite. Morning glory. Um. Yeah, I close it up. Well done. I get it. I'm taking it. Take a DM inspiration. I really like that joke. Well done. Uh... <laughs> that was a pity one, but thank you. <laughs> what? It felt very pity, but thank you. What? <laughs> I was like, no, I, was like, I, I got it. I was like, what? Okay, it, it's fine. Uh, you were given. Um, she pulls off her belt a silver horn, and presents that to you. He goes. If we're ever in battle and require assistance, blow upon this horn, and the spirits of Glorium will be with you. Um, what this will also do, uh, what this will do is, um, you blow the horn, and you get 2d4 plus 2 warrior spirits. Um, that will show up and fight for you for an hour, or until they drop to zero hit points, and once it's used, it can't be used again for another seven days. Ah. Um, you are also uh, given um, the choice of um, a a weapon, a cloak, or a hat. Oh. I want a weapon. A weapon? Okay, dokie. Yeah. Um, you get... Do you have a magical weapon at the moment, or is it... Um, I didn't end up finding my fancy great axe. Okay. So, she will actually give you, um, a plus one great axe. So... Honey froze again. Oh. A few moments later. Yes, so she presents you with this axe. Says, this axe belonged to my father. And she will present you with that axe. As Elna finds this incredibly entertaining and yawns as the weapon's being presented to you. <laughs> Let me have my moment. Sorry. <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, Brim, uh, yeah, so you've now got a plus one uh, great axe. Um, very, very beautiful great axe. Incre uh, like incredible, like Celtic style engravings on it. Ooh. Um, and. Um, Bacall also says, uh, also get, presents all of you, um, with, um, an item as well. Ooh. Um, 
He goes, in recognition for your valiant fighting here. And he, give, he presents you with three black feathers. These are actually feathers from the courier. Ooh. Um, these function as Qual's feather tokens. So, um, uh, which which one? No. Yeah, that's. A, I think it would be bird because it is a bird. These function as three feather tokens. It doesn't actually say what they. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll these. I've got the Z100 you guys bought me. Let's see what the let's see what we get. So the first one is 43. So uh, one of them is a fan feather. Okay. One of them is a tree feather, and the last one is a bird feather. So you've got one bird, one fan, and one tree. So you can summon a rock. Who's holding onto those? Um, if you're you on board a them. boat or a ship, you can toss it in the air. It disappears. The fan floats. Oh, okay. So when you're on a the fan one is if you're actually sailing on a boat, you can create a, a wind to project yourselves in the in the direction you want to go. Okay. And and the tree token. Um, you can summon a non-magical oak tree, uh, a 60-foot tall oak tree. And branches to the top and has a 20-foot radius. Cool. So you can summon a tree. So you can, su you can, sum you can summon a wind, um, a giant bird, and um, a wind. A wind, a tree, and a, and a giant bird. And once they u once they're used, they, they are gone forever. They're one once off. Once off, yes. All right. I mean, I, I can hold on to them for us. Yeah, that's what. Okie dokie. Uh, and with that, once more, celebrations are, are had. You are all um, uh, cheered. Stories are, sh um, uh, are told. Um, the two uh, uh, allies that you had in the fight uh, regale everyone with the tale um, explaining how awesome Brim was, in fact, how awesome you all were, when Elna struck it with lightning, when the boat basically got exploded by by the Bahir. The whole tale is um, is recounted, but incredibly exaggerated. You know, the scale of this beast is told to be at least three times the size of, of what it, how it actually is. So the, the tale goes on, and everyone is uh, drinking, having fun, and revels are had, and you all... Get a level up. <laughs> hey. Huzzah. So we'll have a quick uh, little quick, interlude quick little here level. while everyone increases their level and gets themselves all set up. One eternity later. All uh, right, you're good, Alira. Yep. All righty. And as morning comes once more, um... It is now time for you to depart. So, yep. Um, ah, Alira, as mm -hmm. um, you, um, sorry, in the evening, as you were um, sleeping, uh, you start hearing a strange sound. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I'll start looking around. <laughs> uh, give, me, give me a perception check. Um, perception, okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> you don't see it? Uh, what is my perception? <laughs> No, I do not. And you don't? Okay. I rolled seven. I rolled seven? All right, cool. So you're looking around. No, can't see anything else. You guys would also have heard this as well, but Alira was the first to notice the sound. Do you want us to roll If perception? anyone else wishes to roll perception, they may. I'll give her. Yes. Oh, we've lost her again. Ah! Oh. I got a 16. 16? I got perception... 
Wait for Ellen to get back. <laughs> I'll go look over and into it. Down into the well. And as you look down at the bottom of the well, you see a sword. And the sword's going... <laughs> it's to be tangled up in something. Elna, I found your sword. Alira, sorry. <laughs> uh, what? What to see? <laughs> oh, uh, Alira's just gonna look down the your well. Singing sword. Oh, there it is. Um. Mm. I'm going to assume at this point Il Ilira was quite drunk from the party. Probably, yeah. Oh no, so you don't. You don't actually. You don't get fully drunk from this stuff. It actually doesn't let you get that. Oh, that's bad, right. Yes. Um, I will. But you are feeling Can brave. You are feeling brave. Yes. Uh, yes. Can I see what's tangled in? It looks like it's just tied up in some. It looks like someone's tied a chain around it, and then there's a rock attached to it as well. Um. All right. Can anyone tell me why my sword's chained at the bottom of this well? Uh, one of the uh, the minotaurs like, oh, that was your sword. Damn thing kept showing up and he heeing at us. We got tired of its <laughs> bullshit, so we threw it down the well. They said you could hee hee down there. It heed its last haul. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to climb down and untie it. <laughs> sure. Just give me acrobatics. Hang on. Can mm. I just push her in and cast guidance at the same time? Sure. Yeah, fine. Yeah, just go get it. Go get it. <laughs> yeah, so you take, you, take one, you take one point of bludgeoning damage as you hit the bottom of the well. <laughs> God damn it! I rolled a seventeen plus four as well. Okay, so it's like <laughs> as it sees you, it giggles at you. Son of a bitch. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna unchain it. Sure. Uh, doesn't take you too long. You're able to to unchain the sword, and it goes <laughs> and it just pops itself back into your scabbard. About bloody time! I'm gonna climb back up and be like Johnny, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought I was helping. Yeah, she pops it. You pop out of the well, everyone. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> um, We're just gonna rub her sore head because she just like knocked a brick on the way yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, that yeah. So okay, and then that was all that that occurred. I forgot that little moment. So I forgot to include that little bit before you guys rested up. Remind um, me what my sword's called again. Uh, it's the. Charismatic sort of flying, I believe it was called in the. Or maybe the charismatic dancing sword. Charismatic dancing rapier. That's the one. There you go. Alrighty. One day you'll find a robot too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would love to have some of that protection. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you yeah. would. <laughs> <laughs> Okey Having dokey. a robot around that takes half the damage I take was quite handy. Mm -hmm. And so with that little flashback of the uh, the night before uh, included, uh, you all I'm come... I'm assuming I attuned to it as well at night. Yes, exactly, yes. So you can uh, all come to consciousness once more. Um, I get my point back. People of the village are um, <laughs> once more um, ever grateful uh, to you and... Wish you the best of luck on your journey. And then you can return to the castle if you so desire, unless there's any other business you wish to attend to while you're here. Rim wants to live here forever. <laughs> My Discord's frozen again, just a heads up. Yeah, it's okay. Ah. Uh. Um, Alira's just going to grab, grab Rim by the collar and, go, and just be like... You can't have too much of a nice thing. It gets boring well, after a while. No, you mom. can't. He is. Just keep dragging. Uh, I'm oh, assuming... Yeah. That... <laughs> I'm assuming I have to do a strength check here five. because I'm... Uh, Brim, are you resisting being dragged? Yes, away? absolutely. All right, well, give me, <laughs> give me a strength check. Oh, God. Mm, straight ten. God damn it! I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> so Alira just picks him so up. The bar, the yeah, Alira, you managed to hoist Brim over your shoulder and drag him away. <laughs> That's As you are. I want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, look, you have a house here with you, with your friend Johnny. You can come visit any time you want. At the moment, you have an adventure to deal with. <laughs> I guess. All right. You all return. Back to your castle. Where you all get a little bit too close together, as usual. And yeah, you sounds about right. <laughs> and you are meted by Felic and Zathir once more. I said, Oh, was your journey successful? Yep. Somewhat. I'd say so. Excellent. <laughs> very. You're looking very chipper there. Looks like you had a bit more of uh, an adventure than the others. I definitely did. Mm. Well, now that we uh, our business is concluded here, shall I set uh, course for Excelsior? Sounds good. Very well. Yes. And he heads on upstairs and will set course for Excelsior. Um, and once more, it doesn't take long. And eventually, you arrive at Excelsior. Excelsior. All righty. As you are walking in the giant castle, you actually find yourselves no longer able to see the ground. Um, all you're able to see is just clouds in every direction as far as the eye can see. And way off in a distance, you can just see this mountain begin to uh, emerge out of the clouds and just continue to move upwards. The castle is actually having difficulty um, maintaining the, uh, the climb, so you're going to have to get out and walk on foot. At least that is what you are informed to by uh, Zathia. As you continue to walk, coming into focus, you see floating gardens and palaces that orbit the towering structures of Excelsior. From amid the tallest building rises a tower of alabaster and gleaming colored glass that reaches into the clouds even higher up. As you near the tower, the Mimir rings like a bell. Its eyes pulse with golden light. As yes. oh, and we lose a lira forever. Not me. Oh, Elna, I apologize. <laughs> I'm just gonna scale you guys now. I keep forgetting. I get to. Do I can do this. Yep, it auto scales you. There Fancy. We are. And you see before you the giant tower of Excelsior. All it, of the residents. Big. All of the residents of this place appear to be either angels of some kind or certain ghosts and spirits everyone is just chatting with each other as uh you approach there's almost the sound of uh orchestral music and people singing uh harmonies very uh well i guess angelic musics as you are uh making your way closer to the tower. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, Alira's going to approach the nearest person and just be like, uh, hello, we're looking for the portal. The Planetar looks down at you and says, ah, oh, yes, my child, the portal to Celestia. You must climb the god strand and points to the tower up ahead. The portal lies at the very top. Fair enough. Just gonna keep walking. Thank you. Let's I go. don't like these people. 
Not everyone can worship the ground you walk on, Brim. They can surely try. <laughs> more, more ghosts chatting, more angels. And you continue to cross the bridge. You can see off to the side just various floating buildings and gardens all over the place. As close to an, an idealistic version of heaven as any of you <laughs> has ever seen. Um, before we walk to the door, Lyra's just going to look up and be like, so how many floors do you reckon this is? Too many. 6,000. <laughs> okay. I have a question. Is anyone at the moment evil aligned? Nope. No. Uh, All right. Yes. I pick one. Okay. I am. Okie dokie. Of course you are. Uh... Alrighty. You all walk up to uh, the gate. You see two dog headed guards uh, that just look down at you and goes, Welcome, travellers. Can I pat uh, you? Yes. Of course. And he bows his <gasps> head. <gasps> oh, I changed my mind. I like it here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, child. <laughs> and I'm just... Uh... And you see the leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm staying here now. <laughs> Lara's looking on like... How the fuck did that work? I know. <laughs> they sort of look at you, Alira, a little bit shiftily, but then they sort of look at each other and they nod. Um, so I'm scared to talk. What is it that you uh, uh, that brings you here to Excelsior today? Oh, we're, we're, we're look, just looking for the portal. We don't actually want to go through, oh, but we need course. to... Um... I, I apologise. I forgot. You did say you wish to access the portal. <laughs> of course. Then you must climb the God Strand. Oh, and they, they open the door, and you just see this massive spiral staircase going up. So, uh, just before we go up, how exactly how many flights of stairs is this? Mm, I never truly have counted them, but it's about... 20 miles up, roughly. It goes on for quite a right. while. Right. Is there mm. an elevator or something? like? Of course not. Oh, okay. If yeah, one, no, wish, if one reach, wishes to reach the peak to the gate to Mount Celestia, one must make the climb. Hmm. Oh. What little legs? Suppose we should start then. All right. What, what's everyone's walking speed? 30 feet. 35. 35. Okay. So. Yeah, no, I won't, I won't drink this potion then. Okay. Um, I, I, rolled, I rolled a swiftness. I apologize. Not, I, I actually got that wrong. It's not 18 miles. It's roughly one oh. mile. An average person takes 18 minutes to climb. I got <laughs> got that wrong. I, I apologize. Okay, that's not as bad. Then. It's not as bad. It's quite tall, but not as tall. That's <laughs> what I was describing. <laughs> I apologize. Um, um, okay, so as you all begin to make the climb, you see beautiful mosaics on the walls. All of you except for Johnny. Johnny, you see visions of judgment and shame in the mosaics that decorate the ascent. Um, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. <laughs> 13. Okay. Um... You're good. All right. So you continue to walk up. You sort of feel something pressing into your brain, but you continue on. Um, another one, please. How many of these do I have to roll? Uh, you'll find out, I guess. 
Probably not much after that roll. Four. Four, okay. As you... Uh, so the first minute goes by, the second minute goes by, and you keep seeing more and more of these things, and you see the vision of something pressing into your mind of something wicked that you did in your past, and you gain one level of exhaustion. Okay. Uh, conditions? Okay. Okay. I ha I'm guessing I roll again. Uh, if you wish to continue, absolutely. All right. You guys are seeing Johnny. You guys are not finding it all that difficult to walk up these stairs. Johnny is really struggling. Ah, uh, you okay? This fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that was a two. A two? You gain another level well, of exhaustion. A, th a, th a three. Yeah. Can minus one. Two? Minus one. No. No. Oh, two plus one. Uh, right. Sorry. I apologize. Yeah, two plus one. Right. So I thought you said when you rolled a two, I thought you meant like a two total from your, your check. No. Nah. Yeah. So you, you, uh, you gain I, a second level of exhaustion. I might drink that speed potion now. Okie dokie. No worries. But now I, ha I have 25 feet. 25 feet of movement. He's so fast. Okay. Mm. <laughs> uh, I, I'm apparently uh, restarting the computer has not fixed the freezing issue. Uh-oh. Um. Alrighty. Uh, do you wish to continue, Johnny? Yeah, right. Okay, so we're we're four minutes into the climb. Go for another <laughs> one. Better go get this. <laughs> oh, he's run away. We've lost. <laughs> I think he just yeeted a dice. Oh, he yeeted a dice. <laughs> and then Freya tried to eat it. <laughs> a four, okay. That's the third level of exhaustion, mate. You just keep on getting these. I'm sorry, do we need to carry you? Yeah, you you see you see Johnny. He is getting beaten down by something. You you guys are, are fine, but the only only thing is you're looking at Johnny. He's just being. Looks like he's being drained, like his body is just withering slightly as he's climbing the stairs. Mm, how large a uh, character is Johnny? Oh, oh there goes Tani. We lost Tani. Um, large, medium. He's medium, but he's he you're heavy, aren't you? What's your carrying? I'm a, I'm, I'm a hefty boy. Yeah, because he's, he's a big total mm. person, so. So I wouldn't uh, be able to carry? No, Brim could probably carry him. Yeah, Elira can't. Just roll off my no sleeves. Yeah. And see if I can lift. That's right. Give me a second. We'll wait for Tiny to come back before we. Okay. Ah. Oh no, Johnny's Elna. <laughs> and I'm Johnny now. Ah, I'm being drained. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um, there we go. All right, so let's just reiterate what was. Oh, yeah, so you, you were asking, so earlier you were asking about um, Johnny's weight. Uh, I just need you guys to say it again so we got the, the, whole, the whole bit there. So, heavy. Yeah, heavy. All right, cool. Could I carry him? Um, yeah, you'd be able to, Brim. Just give me, give me an athletics yep. check. It wouldn't be that difficult. Like, not in an offensive way, just in assessing if I could potentially pick him up kind of way, which I don't think Alira would be strong enough to do. Mm. If you want to... 21. 21, that's fine. Yeah, but say, if you wanted to help, you could just give, you know, you can grab the legs and <laughs> Brim can grab the rest. Um, carry the hat. All right, cool. So, yeah, you can carry the hat. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll go into my shell. All right, so Johnny, just... Go, Johnny just recoils into his shell. And you you pick him up. That's... that. hard for me, you prick. <laughs> No, no, because being, being a shell, you can just, you know, put a rope through Whip. the shell and just carry him like a backpack. Yeah. <laughs> Wear me like a backpack. Okay, so, so you've, got, you've got yourself a Johnny backpack. Unfortunately, Johnny, um, being in your shell, um, and even though you're not being walk, walking up, you're still feeling the effects of this. Give me, uh, give me another uh, wisdom save, please. And now, I have it, dice. now I have it against with disadvantage. Really? Level three. Oh, you've got level three exhaustion. Attack, yes, of course. Attack rolls and, saving, and saving, throws. saving throws. Yep, yep, yep. 
that's a natural 20 or a two. Two. <laughs> so you got a two. All right. Uh, you're up to four levels of exhaustion, mate. Fuck. Uh, we're now, what's that, six minutes in? Should I just sprint? <laughs> yeah, you can start running. <laughs> you, yeah. hear, you hear Johnny going, uh, uh, <laughs> he's being killed by, by this climb. Uh, another save, please, Johnny. That, that's another level. Okay. So I have no speed. You've got, yeah, I so am at speed reduced. John, to Johnny's zero. at five levels of exhaustion. Um, and you go, oh God. Johnny just stops talking and any any noise, you can't can't hear anything um, from him. Um, it says here once you reach five five or more five levels of exhaustion, you can't reach six. This won't kill you. So because the sixth level of Thank exhaustion fuck. the sixth level of exhaustion is dead. Although at this point I think death would be a mercy. So Yeah. <laughs> Like, I was almost tempted to just go, fuck it. Whee! Yeah. <laughs> just throw yourself off the, off the tower. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I can throw your shell down the stairs. <laughs> you guys can, <laughs> you guys can ride him. You guys can ride him down the stairs on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> like in Mario. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. And um, eventually you make it to the very top of the tower Ta-da! and now and now we're small yes oh no these guys are big ah yes they are yeah the, you see these two big bear people guarding the portal Ooh. as you uh, approach the portal you see this gate and angelic music ah, streaming through and the mamiya tumbles out of um johnny's <laughs> Shell, because Johnny's kind of fucked at this point. I should shake his shell and get his money out. And uh, information, uh, uh, Excelsior Gates, access. Please provide information. Uh, we're very high up. There's lots of clouds. Um, Johnny apparently couldn't handle climbing a few stairs. Uh, everyone seems um, awfully nice, and some are angelic, and some are dead i think and some are some are animals and they let me pat him so big and up there's a couple place. of very large bear people up here too and the same raw xd i don't know what that means um there were a lot of stairs going up a tower uh... yeah that's it portal seems very shiny <laughs> Okay. The people with wings. Uh, it goes, information accepted. Glorium data updated. Um, and with that, you are able to begin your descent. And I think due to um, Ellen's technical issues, we'll call it quits there for today. A bit of a shorter session. Um, and hopefully we'll get that all worked out before um, next week. And we'll see uh, if Johnny can continue his existence as a rock. So, <laughs> <laughs> essentially. So after their um, fantastic Viking fighting adventures in, and there she goes. <laughs> 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 Nearly got there with that break. <laughs> okay, I'll just lean over over here so I can be on camera for the goodbye. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So, with uh, the uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, um, um, with the um, it's it's all good. It's not gonna be fucked up. It's all good, Tani. It's all good. Um, so with the um, their adventures in Glorium concluded and. Whatever this mysterious effect is that is taking um, Johnny's life energy as he climbs the tower. Um, what other mysteries will um, present themselves, if any, here in Excelsior? Or is this going to be a, a very quick in and out 20 minute adventure here in Excelsior? 
uh, find out next time right here on D&D Blender. But for now, thank you to my players. Johnny. I'm dying here. Brim. Bye. Alira. Should we like just yeet him at the moment? Because uh, he's not being very helpful. Yeah. Oh, hang on. You should get uh, get, get Tanya to come in on your camera, Alira, so she can say goodbye to everybody. You want to come in and say goodbye? Get in here, bitch. <laughs> here and, and Elna. I have to come over. <laughs> there we uh, go. I, I have been <laughs> your... I have oh. been your humble DM, Tim. <laughs> and until next time, everybody, remember to keep on blending. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh, God.